Hello, welcome back to the channel. I've not done one of these in a long time. Uh, one of my IKEA dad videos. Let's close the door. Because uh, uh, my wife and daughter are watching Gladiators next door. And I've got Casper just making a mess and you probably hear him chomping in the background there. Today we're opening this, the Rash Holt. Uh, I don't know what you call it, it's a trolley? It's a trolley of trays. I guess it's a storage trolley. And it's for my daughter and it's it's from ikea so that makes this an ikea dad video this is what it looks like after i've built it, it i mean it's look it's a really tall trolley but it comes in a small cardboard package like this so this was the only thing we bought in ikea well apart from the meatballs and six hot dogs and two fries but <laughs> This is the only thing we managed to buy on this trip, which was very restrained, I think, and it's very strategic. This is for my daughter's new bedroom makeover. This is one of the first things to go in there. So it won't look like this in the future, but this is just one step towards the new future for my teenage daughter. Well, she's soon to be teenage, she's not a teenager yet. So let's open up. I've got the steak knife. You know, the <laughs> all the American vloggers use a really crazy piece of knife work. I've got, I'm not gonna use the steak knife. I'm gonna use the Ikea scissors. And I only just found out the Ikea scissors no longer exist in Ikea. So that makes these vintage scissors. So I'd better take care of them. Now, so this is how the Rashalt trolley arrives. So I've got the instructions. I'm hoping this will be an easy one, but I thought I'd share this with you in case you're searching for Rashalt trolley or kids bedroom ideas or teen kids bedroom inspo. And this is what, what comes in the package. I didn't ask how much this was. I was busy queuing up for the hot dogs. So we get three trays. There are two sizes as well. We could have got one that's 65 centimeters tall and another one that was 78, I think, but we'll speed this up. So let's start the speed build now and I'll just talk all over it and I'll try and point out things along the way. Now this is looking really straightforward because the way I think this works, this is how the instructions look, by the way, and it looks as if all we've got to do is to put these interlocking poles into one another. So we'll just snap the poles together. Well, no, you just push the poles together and then we use a screw, I'll need my screwdriver, to hold these, the poles in place. And the, the most difficult thing is to actually find the right poles and to get them the right way round so that, uh, because there is only one way that you can put these together. So these poles slot into each other, but you've got to slot the right poles together and it all depends on the little kink in one of the double poles that we've got here. Now, right from the get go, I, <laughs> I think I messed this up. I, I find it really difficult. I instantly put the poles round the wrong way round and it, it, is, it is quite difficult to match up how they bend outwards and where the brackets at the end should go. So I, try, I, I put them together, I'm not quite sure that it was right. So I take them apart again and look at the picture. And actually, I think there is only one way that they can go because the, the holes on the end of one pole only match up one way round with the holes of the pole that slots inside the pole, if that makes sense. So I just jiggle them around and <laughs> stare at them a bit longer. And now I can go in with my completely wrong screwdriver. It's a flathead screwdriver, you need a Phillips one. And we're gonna screw in these tiny, tiny, I, I thought they'd be big and silver, but they're tiny black kind of stud screws that, that just go in here to hold the poles in place. The next step is to assemble the base and that involves these four pieces. <laughs> the hardest part with this, this trolley, this Rashholt trolley, is to work out which bit corresponds to which bit in the instructions. But once you, <laughs> once you have a look and manage to make the link, it seems to be okay. So for the base, the easiest way to spot which bit goes with which is that there's only one way that the two poles can interlock. You kind of push them together and twist them and they stay in place. And then we can get the, the two legs that we just built 
and they go either side of the base, locking the two base legs together. Again, it's a pole fitting inside a pole, so it is, it's really easy to go in once you've worked out which bit goes, <laughs> goes where and which way round. And then we hold the, these in place with four screws, those tiny black screws. I'm just putting two in on the left-hand side and two in on the right-hand side, just to keep those locked together. This doesn't feel like the sturdiest trolley in the world. I guess these, these screws are gonna hold, I hope. And if they don't, I'll just screw them again, tighten them up later on. By the way, ooh, hello. <laughs> but by the way, sorry if there's some noise in the background, but Casper's having his dinner and he's having trouble, <laughs> he's having trouble keeping the bowl in the thing that holds the bowl in place. So he's kind of taken the bowl for a walk around the kitchen. It's uh, rice and peas and beef and biscuits, one of his specialities. And he is evenly distributing it across the floor and his ears <laughs> and anywhere else it will go. <laughs> Uh, I, I should put the bowl back into the silicone holder really, but he seems to be getting some extra exercise from it, so we might as well leave him to do his thing. It's going to take even more shape now, it's going to get noisy, because we are going to put the, the trays into the frame, but the instructions say they've got to go a particular way, whoa, a particular way round. I'm going to do it because there's like a, a, like a crease or a fold on the side of the of the trays. So I'm going to have all of those on the same side. And the idea of it is I think the bottom one will be locked, the top one will be locked, and the middle one is adjustable using these clips that kind of hold, hold them in place. So the first thing we're going to do is slide this one over, get it down to the bottom. And we need two of these plates on either side. They, they all look identical. So I'll get two here to there and then they are held in place by these bolts. I'll put one here and one inside the tray and then we've got to, then we've got to get all the holes to line up. <laughs> so I put this into the, the bracket and it's got a square bit on it to hold it in place and I'll push that in. I've really got the gladiators theme in my head. I really want to sing it or play it to you, uh, <laughs> but I don't want to get a copyright strike. So you have to imagine the British gladiators theme, the 90s version. Tell you what, I, <laughs> I'll recite it to you while I'm assembling the, the brackets on the trays. Do you feel the power of the gladiators? Can you face the challenge of the champions? Do you have the courage of a hero? Do you have the will and the skill? Okay, so I got it wrong. <laughs> Ignore the last bit. Basically, there's only one on each side. So there's one bracket here and one bracket here. And the bolt goes through and there's like a nut that holds it on the other side. And now we get to tighten the nut. They've very generously given us two uh, spanners. I suppose that's just assuming that someone will be here to help you. Or maybe they think you're gonna snap it or something. And then the, the bolt is held in place by the square hole. So all we have to do is just tighten the bolt with the, the provided wrench and we can tighten this knot. I, I, always, I always go too far with this and tight, over tighten and end up wrecking the thing. But, uh, <laughs> and I'll still do it with this one. So we'll just tighten these bolts. The next part of the instructions is kind of going a bit crazy now because it's suggesting we can put it on its side. Don't forget <laughs> to put the middle tray down, otherwise we won't be able to get it in. And I'm, I'm trying to do it so that the folds are all on one side. So I'll just guide this in. And it does advise don't put the trays into each other because I think it would just scratch the paintwork. So I think that's why they're advising doing this on its side so this doesn't get jammed into the bottom tray. And now we can put the brackets on this top tray. Let's speed this up. So I don't know it yet, but I'm doing this completely wrong. And 
I'll tell you why in a moment, but let's just enjoy for a moment this speeded up footage of me turning a bolt round and round and round, uh, wondering why it's not locking, but still turning it anyway. There's something really wrong with this bolt on one side. The other one goes in and it goes in really easily and really well. So I'm thinking, well, maybe that, that holds it in place. <laughs> and I, I just can't work out. So I'm squeezing harder between the poles and the tray just to make the trolley bolt together. And it's not, it's just spinning around. And I think it took me far too long to work out why. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> I've done it wrong. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> it could not be clearer and I've managed to screw it up. I've completely forgotten to put the brackets and if I can zoom in on the edits. <laughs> I'm twisting this thing and the bolt's going round and round and round. And I'm thinking, but it should be held in place. Well, it would be if I'd put the bracket on <laughs> that you're supposed to do. Why is it so hard? Uh, so now I've got to take the bolts off. It comes off really easily. So this goes through through the bracket, which would be really obvious. I don't know why I missed that. That's really, I think it's because it's on its side. It broke my flow. Let me give you a closer look of, of what this bolt situation is like. Uh, they give you a wrench that fits exactly but you have to kind of lock it in, uh, lock it over the bolt each time to give it a twist. And this is really giving me an arm exercise and a half. But all we need to do is to keep turning this bolt with the bracket on the other side and eventually it, it holds the top tray in place. This is the creative part. We get to choose where this, where this middle tray goes. Uh, you can choose, it can go wherever you want because the bracket can hopefully hold it in place. So if you want some like tall bottles at the bottom, you can put it higher up. And if you want it, I'm, I'm gonna have it pretty much equal just so it looks nice. But you, you can configure it how you want. Go crazy with the middle shelf. <laughs> This bit is way too tough. It's a lot harder than I think. Because the poles are held apart by the top tray and the bottom tray, it's really difficult to get the bolt through and meet the nut in the middle. There's no give in it at all. <laughs> I'm using all my strength to hold the, the bolt and actually push it through the hole far enough to get a thread through so I can get the nut on. I think it might be easier to go against the instructions and do the middle shelf first and that way you, you've got a bit more play at the top, but doing it in the middle means that the middle poles are fixed. So it's really difficult to squeeze through the bolt and get it to latch and hold the thing in place. Ah, damn it. Ah. What I'm going to try now is, <laughs> I'm gonna have to take the top tray off and I'll try and put the middle tray on first and see if that works. It is really energy zapping to have to undo your work. And I end up doing this every time I put something together with Ikea. Maybe it's just my brain. Maybe I'm unable to follow the instructions correctly, but every time I have to undo the work to get the work done. If you face this with your Ikea adventures, say hi in the comments below, because I'm sure I'm the only one who has to do it and then completely undo it to do it back up again. And, and I'm also, I'm now dropping the, the bolts all over the floor. Uh, it's at this point of the build that I just, just sucks and I just want to finish it. And my family want to eat their dinner, but I've got this all over the, <laughs> all over the dinner table. So I've got to get this done. I've got to get it done. Uh, oh, Casper, what's up? <coughs> what? <laughs> it's probably a, that naughty black cat from up the street's probably outside. He can, uh, he can sense it. Mind you, he goes nuts when we open the loft, so. Oh no, what? Okay, so the, sorry about the noise in the background, but I would say definitely do the middle one first and do it loosely and then do the top one to hold it in place. The only problem with it is that it does, it will scratch the paintwork um, if you're too rough with it. So I'm just gonna do it this way. And now the slightly more fun part of, because I'm getting a bit grumpy, the slightly more fun part of screwing on or bolting on 
the four caster wheels. These wheels look really good. I think they, they look really substantial, they feel substantial. I mean, they don't have to take much weight because, <laughs> because of the flimsy trays. But my, my tip with this is to use the, the nut that's closest to the wheel as the one to turn. So there's, the, an, uh, there's another loose nut on the caster. So you could adjust the height of the wheels if you wanted to by about a centimeter or half an inch. But I'm screwing the nuts all the way down tightly so that the whole wheel can just twist into place and there won't be any height adjustment. It will hopefully be as tight as possible on the base of this IKEA Rasholt trolley. This is what IKEA says about the Rasholt trolley. The sturdy construction and four casters make it easy for you to move the trolley and use it wherever you like. It even fits in tight spaces because of its small size. The trolley is easy to adapt to suit what you want to store in it because the middle shelf is adjustable. It's got lots of storage capacity in it and I suppose being able to move the middle shelf might be useful if you've got some bigger things than others. It fits in quite well. We're gonna try and put this under the desk so it'll be kind of like under desk storage and because of the four caster wheels, she'll be able to pull it out whenever she wants and tuck it under, hopefully out of the way. You can get the rash holts in these different colors uh, we went for the, the cream one because this will be the look for the new bedroom renovation. This isn't it yet. This is just the, I've got to emphasize, this is just the first step in the transformation for my teen daughter's bedroom. <laughs> and thank you for hitting the thumbs up button or the subscribe button. You'll be able to follow our journey. I really appreciate it. It really helps us to keep this channel going. So thank you. And right here is what YouTube knows you want to watch next. Maybe some more IKEA dad stuff. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, Mike.